Hello. I've got a little friend next to me here. Here we go. Um, and it is a little flap neck chameleon. And we normally don't pick them up. And, but this one was going down one of the main access roads. And it's quite dangerous. I mean, there's lots of different vehicles uh, that drive up and down these entrance roads. So it's quite dangerous for them. And obviously not everyone who's driving into these reserves are safari guides. They're not ob ob as observant. So when we do find them on the roads, we generally do move them uh, onto a safe area. Now I'm just going to wait for them to get onto my other hand and then I'll give you a nice close look at him and just watch how his eyes are constantly moving in all directions. See that very slow, almost staggered chameleon walk. Here we go. Hey, mister. Oh, no. We want to look at the camera. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't want to look at camera. So isn't this absolutely exquisite? You can see how they get their, oh sorry Brian, their name, the flap neck chameleon. You can see the flap on the back of their neck. And you can see how spiny they are. And you just see on his belly all those little, little spikes and also those continue all the way around his body, along his back. And look at those incredible. He's almost going a pinkish hue. Now, even chameleons can change color, but they'll battle to sort of match flesh. Um, and you can see the claws on there. And those wonderful gripping feet. Um, let me try put my arm resting so I don't move so much. How's that, Brian? And you can see how he's gripping around my finger. And obviously that's how they clamber up and down and around trees. I, this is this is one of my first really nice chameleon sightings of the year. Just watch those eyes, how they move in all directions. Okay. You've had your time as a TV star, mister. It's time to put you back in the tree safely that you are no longer on the road. It was actually spotted by Brian as we were driving along down on the, in the middle of the road. Now, let's see. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's excited. He's like, that's much better. Now, watch him carefully for a little bit. He should start going a bit more green to start matching the, the, the green of this little bush willow we've popped him in. Hey, mister. <laughs> uh, just, they are such cool creatures. Now, there's so much folklore uh, around chameleons and, and uh, the fact that their eyes rotate uh, almost 180 degrees, uh, they change color, and of course their tongue that shoots out to grab insects. And so, put them in the realm of magic with a lot of uh, African tribes. And in a lot of places they're they are killed as soon as they are spotted. And one of the reasons for that is that uh, certain tribes blame the chameleon for human beings not being immortal. The chameleon was tasked by the great creator to pass on a message to the human being saying, if you want to be immortal, all you have to do is say yes. But he got sidetracked by a bunch of, I think it was, oh, I can't remember which insects entirely, and he just gorged himself and uh, got so fat that he was unable to get to the human beings to pass the message and therefore he uh, humans only found out after the creator's deadline for immortality was over. They are so, so cool!